Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna create this flask in Gravity Designer. Uh, I'm working on my old desktop because my new desktop is broke down. So do not uh, guarantee the same quality of this tutorial. And the aim of this tutorial is very simple. I'm gonna show you how to create the shadows and these highlights in Gravity Designer. I do not want to spend too much attention on the gradients and other parts of this tutorial but of course we're gonna create it from scratch so let's start with the alt n or option n on your mark i'm gonna uh, size it as a block cover i you can create a document at any size Control plus command plus and scale this artwork i'm gonna grab ellipse and holding shift and alt or shift and option on your mark i'm gonna create a perfect circle with this circle selected, Ctrl Shift D, Command Shift D, create one duplicate. With this duplicate selected, hold Shift, hold Alt, or Shift and Option on your mark and scale it down, like so. Then navigate to the fill and apply uh, this dark color. So we have uh, some kind of uh, target shape. Grab your smaller copy, go to the sub select tool, and with this point, on the left slice a half of your circle like so now we need to uh, go and produce a closed shape on our penis panel this icon then ctrl shift p or command shift p to create a path you can also go to here modify path convert path so uh, we have our path and this means we can add a couple of points. So with your subsell tool, add a point to near the center. Then convert it to the mirror, like so. And then, uh, sorry, uh, then I'm gonna make it like so. So it's kind of uh, water or something like so, maybe poison or some uh, chemicals inside this uh, flask next she next uh, what we're gonna do is to uh, as you can see for some of the reason it creates these uh, two uh, points first of all i'm gonna delete this point then i'm gonna select this and convert it to mirror as well and after I convert it to mirror, I immediately want to uh, create it to symmetric. So I'm going to control uh, the width of my Bezier handles uh, independently. And if you don't understand what it does it mean, what does this mirror mean and what does symmetric mean, if you don't know how to work them, watch my pen tool tutorial. Uh, then I'm gonna grab pa okay. pen tool and create uh, an add dimension to my um, to this uh, shape to my water uh, to my uh, is so rich. Okay, I'm gonna create it here. Then hold Alt and create and close the path. Like so, delete my border and uh, apply some fill. Move it to the bottom. You can also use Control arrow down. Move it to the top, like so. Then <coughs> grab a sub select tool and move it like so. Uh, so, looks uh, pretty nice, but uh, now I'm gonna apply some colors here and gradients so first select the body of your flask and navigate to the gradient select the line of gradient and uh, first we need to reverse uh, the direction clicking on this icon and with this dark color selected i'm gonna navigate to blues and apply some blues here then i'm gonna select my white color and navigate to the orangey and apply some very desaturated orange this looks awesome then I'm gonna push by blue color, dark color to the right. So I'm gonna restrain the size of my uh, orange uh, color. Then push my orange color to the size. So I'm gonna really want to 
and I do saturate this side uh, again a little bit more. Uh, next uh, in my list is my liquid, so select your liquids, this front view, and navigate to the liner gradient again. And with this, uh, okay, with this dark gray color selected, I want to produce a white color. Then with this color, I'm going to produce a yellow, yellowish color, like so. And then I want to uh, switch the order of my stops, like so. Looks very nice, but I probably want to decrease the brightness of this yellowish color. Next, I'm going to select this uh, back view and navigate to my purple color and apply very dark purple, almost a black uh, color. Looks very nice. Uh, next in my list is to create a neck for this fluff. In order to do this, we need to grab the rectangle and create a rectangle in the middle and on the top of my of the body. Uh, then I'm gonna control shift down arrow to move it in the bottom of my layer stack. Uh, grab my uh, Airdropper tool and sample the solid color. It requires only solid color. Then create another rectangle to create this head. Again, I'm gonna sample this color as well. Uh, select both part of your liquid and Control Shift, uh, so, sorry, Control G Command G to create a group. And I do this because I want to align all of my elements, like so. Next is uh, to add a corner, to add a corner radius to this shape. And uh, so I'm basically ready with this last. And only thing I need I, to create a shadow. So first of all, create this shadow on the top of your neck. I'm gonna navigate my fill color and apply to this uh, C, 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 very light, all C uh, in hexadecimal values, so very light uh, gray. Then I'm gonna uh, navigate to the multiply blend mode. Looks very nice. Uh, let's grab and create a shadow uh, for this part for the body of my Flask. So in order to do this, first select your neck, select your body, Ctrl Shift D, Command Shift D on your mark to create a duplicate. Uh, then with your duplicate selected, navigate to there and merge these shapes. Then go to the basicon and with the basicon create dot on the top, the create dot on the beginning of this curve, then holding Alt, create in the middle, and then curve uh, this shadow away right on the beginning of your light source, like so. Then combine these parts like so, so it's gonna be, uh, goes beyond your flask and ensure that you cover all this part as well. So, with your flask selected, I mean this compound shape, with your uh, shadow selected, navigate again and go to the intersection in the boolean shape operators. Again, if you don't understand what does it mean, this intersection and so on, uh, I highly encourage you to watch my tutorial, to read my tutorial about boolean shapes operator in Gravits. Uh, next in my list is to go and apply CCC again, then uh, go and uh, apply Multiply here. So looks very nice. I'm gonna also move it to the top of my stack, so it's gonna cover the, this top part of my uh, shadow. And let's create uh, a shadow for this uh, neck. So uh, what we need to do is to grab basic on again, navigate to the 
right side of uh, this shadow will play the first point on top of this head play the hold the alt key and play the point in the middle and then release uh, alt key and create this curve then combine your shape like so select create a duplicate with ctrl shift d command shift d i am dealing now with duplicate and go and create intersection again so uh, it's gonna be this uh, it's gonna be this shape and uh, last but not least we need to navigate to these all c uh, colors and again uh, <coughs> apply the multiply from the blend mode so our shadows are ready and let's create a highlight and we're gonna do this with the basic gun tool again it's very it's ridiculously easy in right designer so place navigate to the transition of your blue to this uh, reddish uh, color and or place a bottom point uh, here then go holding alt or option key go to the middle and place anchor point here and then combine your path so you have a slice of your circle and now grab the subset tool and curve this side, this path inside. Looks very nice. Select this tool, go to the borders and delete the border. Next part is to apply the gradient. So go navigate to the gradient, apply the gradient and I need the dark side of my gradient. In the bottom and bright side of my gradient in the top so because top requires more light than bottom now go to the screen and apply create your final uh, highlight uh, last but not least decrease the opacity to around 30 percent so uh, it may seem uh, harsh to you you need to place it in the real world settings like so for example but what i need to say you again you can always control the amount of your highlight just simply moving your cursor with your dark color across the slider really nice so guys this is basically end of this tutorial and in the next tutorial i'm gonna show you how to make grainy how to create a grainy shadows in Gray designer don't forget guys to join my Gra gravit tutorials group uh, join Gravit user group and uh, watch go to the tutorials.net to learn more about gravit designer Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.